Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. It's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 8, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. So we are really struggling in this market. It is uh, It has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, got rejected there, rallied up towards the 20 simple, and got rejected there as well. It looks like the... Um, there's not a lot of momentum in this market at this current stage. We'll probably have another go at the previous low zero at 30,000. If that breaks, it breaks, then we are looking at 20,000. And of course, if that breaks, then we're looking at all the way down towards 12,000 and so on. So yes, it um, history repeats itself. And um, yeah, basically a massive bubble that burst as it looks at this current stage doesn't mean that we can't recover, but it doesn't look really nice at this point. If you look at weekly chart for, for Bitcoin, we can see that uh, MACD is still very bearish. Stochastic is becoming flat. So it could be a move up towards the 20 exponential, roughly at uh, 30, uh, 42K. But um, that is probably also where we'll find massive, massive resistance and fall back down. And so if you look at CCI, it's very negative as well. The so is the RSI. So we are just, yeah, momentum is definitely not to the upside. If we break below the, the 50 moving average here in the weekly chart, then we're looking at the drop all the way down to the to the 200 moving average at 13K. So let's look at each room. So we'll look at a daily chart we can see very similar here we are running into resistance at the 50 moving average uh, we have tested it uh, basically here here and also here and basically tried to test it yet again today and then just failed miserably so some indications here for example the cci is very bullish um, but macd is still in negative territory above the signal line stochastic is bearish rsi is flat if we now manage to break above the 50 moving average, we could basically drop back towards the 200 moving average. Let's give or take 1735. Break above the 50 moving average, then we could go back towards the very high zero at 4,000. 4, but still, 50 moving average is, we are struggling to basically get above the 20 and the 50 at this current stage. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano has also rallied up towards this area here, which is proven to be uh, quite resistant, give or take around here. So at, at roughly uh, 1.7 towards uh, 1.9 is an area that we have to get through in order to go back towards these very highs here. So this we have a pullback at the end of the US session and uh, it's not looking really nice. If we break below the 50 moving average, then we could go back towards these previous lows. And it looks like we are just going to um, stay within this range. We are basically at the top. We could drop back towards this area here, break below the 200 moving average, and then we are looking back at the 0 0.5 and even lower than that. Technical indicators, they are basically all over the place. MACD is uh, flat, the stochastic is bearish, the CGI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin is also struggling, and um, we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average, and that is not a really good sign. We are, uh, we are getting rejected at the 200 moving average, and uh, if we get this crossing here, then we could see this drop back towards 116. If you look at technical indicators, they are basically all over the place as well. MACD is uh, bullish in negative territory, and uh, stochastic is bearish. The CCI is uh, bearish as well, and the RSI is flat. So there's a lot of there's a lot of work to be done in order to go back towards these very highs here. So we are basically just in this same range of give or take the highs of 200. And uh, and uh, the lows here of roughly 152 uh, highs here of give or take 205. So it within this area, break above here, then you could go to the 50 moving average, break below here, and then we were looking at the previous lows here and towards 100. Uh, so 100 dollars. So let's look at Neo. 
So Neo is also struggling at the, to basically recover. Um, we are running to uh, resistant at the 20 exponential. You can see it right here. It didn't get really close there, but here we got close and broke down and same for the day. Technical indicators are also mixed. MACD is uh, bullish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat as well. Break below the 200, then we are looking at the 25. Break below the two, uh, 20 exponential, then we could go to the 50. But as you can see, 20 has proven to be um, very difficult to get through and will mostly in the long run get a crossing of the 20, 200 and the 20, and that will basically drop this even further to the downside. So let's look at Dash. So Dash very similar to Litecoin. It is um, technically the same uh, chart as Litecoin. It is struggling to get above the 200 moving average. We're mostly going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average. And that basically means that we'll drop back to these previous lows and probably towards 100. Technical indicators, very similar. Uh, MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, the CCI is still bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at Dogecoin. Sorry. Well, this isn't going to work. Yes, so uh, this is also the hype. Uh, it seems like is out of this uh, cryptocurrency as well. Uh, without the uh, supporting tweets uh, from Elon Musk um, and others, then this is basically just hanging around here. And um, yes, what are you going to say about this? Looks like a triangle um, that we are mostly going to head towards the, the corner and uh, we'll either break towards the downside or towards the bottom at this current stage. We're getting very close. Uh, we are struggling at the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. We have not managed to stay for a long period of time above that. And usually that is a very negative sign. We can see as well here that we are basically, we had this rally here, but since then we have basically been breaking down. And if we break below this resistance line, uh, support line here, then we're probably going back towards the previous lows at 0 0.21 or probably the 200 moving average down at 0 0.12. Technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still, is almost crossing the signal line. Uh, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is flat and the RSI is uh, flat as well. So hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.